Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on um, the effects that uh, volcanic activity uh, can have on areas. Okay, So we're going to look at some of the, the disadvantages and some of the advantages that uh, volcanoes can have. Okay, so the first thing is um, that you need to know is that um, volcanic activity volcanic activity uh, brings both um, positives, so you will have some positives and you will have some negatives. And in today's lesson we're going to focus on some of the positives and some of the negatives. Okay, so the first uh, positive effect of um, volcanic activity is that new land is created. So that's a, a very important um, effect and it's, it's uh, definitely a big positive. The second one is that it leaves the land very fertile. So after all the after the volcan the, the volcano erupts, um it leaves the soil very rich uh and fertile and makes it really good for, for crop for growing crops. And the reason for this is when the lava um reaches the comes comes out on the surface, it cools, uh, solidifies and forms into basalt rock, and which over time when it breaks down becomes is very rich and fertile um and makes the soil uh, very uh, fertile and good for growing crops. The third positive of a volcanic activity is tourism. So many tourists come and visit areas um, in order to see what um, the features and what what the and see the rock types and the and and to actually see uh, a volcano. So volcanoes actually bring lots and lots of tourists, and that brings in lots uh, of money into the economy, and creates lots of jobs. And not only is is jobs created, but there's also like the government will then, uh, put a lot of money into building the infrastructure and improving transport, and communication links and and construction the buildings, improving the water supply and Wi-Fi and so on, and all these different services which obviously benefit the local people as well as as the as the country, as a whole, and, then of course there's many spin-off uh, jobs created because of. Um, all the tourists that will come to visit these volcanoes. An example of a volcano that, that receives many uh, visitors each year is Mount Etna. The, ter uh, the, the fourth uh, positive impact of volcanic activity is geothermal energy. So geothermal energy. So one of the countries that um, are very good at uh, 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 extracting and, and and creating geothermal energy is in, is in Iceland. Um, in Iceland, most central heating is from hot water piped from uh, from the hot springs, and they they then generate like geothermal energy, which then they use to power a lot of homes and buildings and infrastructure throughout the country. Obviously, one of the, the huge benefits of geothermal energy is that it's it's free energy, um. And they're also they're not burning any fossil fuels, uh, in order to, in order when they're using this energy, it's it's, it's all natural, and it's not going to release CO two emissions and and damage our environment and our atmosphere. A fifth positive impact of volcanic activity is um, rocks. So, uh, volcanic rocks um, are good uh, building materials. Uh, an example would be pumice, which is used in uh, concrete. Uh, so. A good positive of volcanic activity is that you get um, volcanic rocks which are used and they're good for building materials. Alright, so that's some of the positives. Um, now we're going to look at some of the negatives. Okay, So the first negative of uh, volcanic activity is that there's a lot of um, destruction. So lots of destruction. Um, there's like when I say destruction, I mean like loss of land, uh, loss of land, buildings destroyed, uh, property destroyed, so property and and businesses destroyed. Uh, 
The second uh, negative impact of um, volcanic activity is death. So people, uh, if someone are killed or are badly injured, um, an example of this would be in uh, Iran in 2003, uh, over 30,000 people were killed. The third negative impact of um, of volcanoes would be uh, the effect it can have on, on the climate. So it can change temperature, so changes in temperature. Sometimes the, the temperature, it could be a change in temperature of up to 2 degrees Celsius, um, where the, where because of the, the big cloud that's released uh, into the atmosphere, it can sometimes block out lots of the rays and cause the temperature to decrease by up to 2 degrees. The fourth negative impact of volcanic activity would be the volcanic gases that, that, that would be released into the atmosphere. So volcanic gases. An example of this would be um, carbon dioxide. And in 1986, in Lake uh, Neos in, in Cameroon, 1,700 people were killed because of the carbon dioxide, uh, the gases that were released into the atmosphere. The fifth uh, negative impact of volcanoes is the lahars that can be that can be created, um, which really which will create like lots of mud flows. And an example of this would be in Nevada de Ruz. In 1985, where it does uh, huge mud fo flows were, were was was created because of lahars, and this killed uh, thousands of people. The sixth negative impact of volcanic activity is acid rain. So acid rain, uh, volcanoes cause up to twenty percent of acid rain uh, globally each year. The seventh negative impact of volcanoes um would be some they can create like floods so they can create floods and even even sometimes tsunamis can be created because of the volcanic er uh, activity um and this would be like a, an example of this would be in Krakatoa in 1883 uh, which killed over 30,000 people in Sumatra and um, because uh, a tsunami was actually created because of the volcanic activity and the eighth and the last one I'm gonna have for negative impact would be um uh the the loss of like trade and livelihood. We trade and livelihood. So lots of trade businesses and livelihoods are completely destroyed. Um example of this would be in Mount St. Helens. The it destroyed over ten million trees, and um, and and caught and destroyed lots of uh, homes, businesses, um, and caused like great like destruction for people. So there you have it. You've got some positive uh, effects of volcanic activity, and you have some negative effects of volcanic activity. And um, you can kind of see that the negative effects do seem to like outweigh. The positive effects but you have to always remember uh, some, that there are positive impacts of volcan of, of uh, volcanic activity and not just to always like f have to have the negatives in mind there are lots of positives as well so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did can you leave me some feedback you can leave some feedback on the website examinevision.ie and um, if you or you can just uh, leave us some feedback on the instagram page or facebook or twitter page at examinevision for you so please do follow us thanks guys